Hi guys, Crafty Catsy. Um, just a small haul and uh, some stuff I want to tell you about the some different inks. Also, some projects I've been working on. Um, this household has been crazy for the last two days and I'm the only person in it. Figure that one out. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, ever since the news about uh, the match being found from my transplant, um, the phone's been ringing off the wall and stuff, and um, I just, um, I'm so happy. You know, the things that have been going wrong with my body lately don't matter anymore sort of thing, you know what I mean? I mean well, it does matter, but it just, the importance has kind of gone out the window just because I know that this transplant is going to make me so much better, and um, it's going to give me a longer, healthier life. So I'm, I'm really, really happy right now. Um, there is a part of me, though, that is very, very sad um, for losing Lori yesterday. Um, she was a really special lady for me. Um, she really, really supported me. Um, I just uh, really adored her, so I'm really sad that she had to die, you know. But um, anyway, um, on to the rest of the video. Um, so I got a few things. Um, one was the little mini retro punch. And um, then the bigger one. I don't know this, the actual size. But this is for doing the um, miniature roses. Um, which I have here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, I bought this um, pack of um, cardstock to try it out. And it's called, uh, there you go, you can see the name there, Waswasao. Uh, but anyways, it's Premium Cardstock 96 Bright, whatever that means. Um, 65 pound, it says cover um, and there's a hundred sheets acid free linen free um, so and it's really heavy um, anyway so I used a piece of it last night just to try it and boy do I ever love it <laughs> I'm just, I love it it's it's a nice thick card stock um, it doesn't, uh, you know, like wrinkle easy when you go to move it or, you know, it kind of bends or something, you know. It's really good quality, guys. So if you're looking for a good quality white cardstock, that's it. Um, I also bought um, a pack of the Recollections uh, cardstock paper um, to try that. Um, because the only real um, cardstock I've tried, like white cardstock, um, was pieces that I was buying single um, at the stamp shop or um, I think I had a few pieces in the um, neutral recollections pack but I don't remember what it was like so so anyways yeah um, and I bought some stamps um, uh, but I'm going to show you not the stamps themselves but what they look like on paper because of the ink thing I wanted to show you. Um, I was trying different inks out. Okay, let's see. There was this, um, looks kind of like a, a top note stamp, and it says, I'm so sorry in there. That was the one stamp I bought. Then there was this bird. And then there was this butterfly. It's got kind of like lines in the middle and polka dots. And then there was this butterfly, and it looks like it's got a flower and a button in the middle. Really cute. Um, don't know that you're going to be able to see what I was tr wanting to show you about the inks. Um, this image here, the grayish black one, um, it is so crisp and clean and clear. Um, it, it said the ink that I use, it, it's called um, Stampology, and it says it's, it's 
ink made just for your cling stamps, um, your clear cling stamps or whatever you call them. And I thought, oh, they're just saying that just to sell another product, right? But um, I tried it, and then I tried other inks that I normally use, and it actually is better. It gives a clear image with the clear stamp. So they are telling you the truth. <laughs> so, um, and this is the same image here, only it's using one of the Tim Holtz distress pads, and it's really grainy. Um, you can't see it in this picture, but um, I basically, when I tried all the different inks, um, basically the um, the ones that gave the best coverage and the best images were the pigment inks. So the regular um, classic inks and stuff did not cover stuff. It was it was it was faded. It was grainy. Um, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I really like these um, colors here. These are the ones called um, Pretty Colors. And it doesn't say who they're by. I can't see that it says who they're by. But they're just simply gorgeous colors. I really, really like it. So, yeah. So that's that. Um, and the flowers for these retro punches are really cute. Um, see. Okay, this is the tiny punch, and it makes, you can't even see <laughs> this rose. It's so tiny. I put a little yellow um, center leaf. But you can't you can't see that, but it's cute. Um, and the the bigger one, sorry about that, the glare. That makes these just gorgeous, like really pretty. Um, this pink one, I just love it. Really pretty. And I even made a polka dot one. This is so cute. And you know, you can do whatever with them. It's a nice red one. Red one. And here's like a two-tone one. Like you can do whatever you want, but those are really cute punches. Um, I think I'm going to be over the time limit by the time I get to the tags and stuff. So that's it, guys. <laughs>